Devon Witherspoon is a heat-seeking missile. Originally constructed in the swamps of Pensacola, Florida, and given his rocketry when he got to Illinois. He has been the full package of the cornerback position in his rookie season, exceeding all expectations and presenting his case to the court as having the best rookie season for a Seahawks cornerback in the team's well over 50-year history. Better than Richard Sherman's rookie year and even better than Reek Woolen's first season. As a pure cover man, he can lock you down. Man or zone, it makes no difference. His stop and start twitchiness makes even the most sudden receiver struggle to separate. Not just a stone-handed corner who plays tight in coverage, Devon adds to his repertoire by also possessing top-notch ball skills. In this flashy rookie season, he's jumping routes, making plays on the ball, and teasing a future where interceptions fall from the sky like Seattle raindrops in the middle of winter. He only has one pick on the year, but he's had another one wiped out due to a ticky-tack penalty and a few others that have just barely escaped his grip. Witherspoon did reel in one and made the most of it, returning that interception 99 yards for a pick six. This is just the beginning of Witherspoon as a player, though. He brings a rugged aggression that belies his 5'11", 190-pound frame, a human hit stick crammed into cornerback form. And Hitterspoon will do two things to you as a ball carrier, hit and tackle. Doesn't matter how big you are, It'll just be the harder you fall after a spoonful of boom has lit you up. He sheds blocks so easy you think he was using the five-finger death punch to get free. He'll chase down plays across the field with supreme effort, and you'll never find him making a business decision on the football field. He can hit you like a sledgehammer or bring you to the ground using pristine hawk tackling technique. And if you think you're going to be slick and grind out a few extra yards, He'll rip that ball free like the noodler snatch catfish down in his home state of Florida. And yet, his skill set is not done yet. Devon is also a sensational blitzer, posting a plus 90 grade in that department according to PFF, the highest of any rookie defender. And yes, that includes Jalen Carter. His first step quickness and mongoose-like aggressiveness turns him into a blur and gives the opponents no tells, little time for retreat and none for escape. Quarterbacks have begun to fear him screaming off the edge. A good example of this is he was almost able to cause an interception in the commander's game by baiting the quarterback into thinking he was blitzing when he was actually faking. Quarterbacks have become as specialized as any other position on the football field. Outside cornerbacks rarely are used in the slot, and typically when teams try to use outside cornerbacks inside, the results are a mixed bag. In the slot, there are two-way goes, no sideline aid, and sometimes you have to play the position like a Sam linebacker when it comes to the run game. A wide range of requirements for the position that is not for the weak. Witherspoon has been the unicorn in this regard. On early base downs, or when the team has Jamal Adams in the slot, the Withermaker moves to the outside and locks his man down. And when the Seahawks go to nickel, you get Slotted Spoon, where he moves inside and erases the slot receiver from the game. He is equally efficient and effective whether outside or in. Two positions in one, and as complete a player as you will ever find. Devon Witherspoon is the highest rated rookie cornerback by PFF and the third highest graded cornerback in the entire NFL. A mere 28 receptions allowed on 58 targets. In six games this year, he's allowed less than 25 yards in coverage. A two-position player that provides dominant impact all over the field and in every possible way. No flaws, emblazoned by the unbreakable spirit of the old-school blood-and-guts football player. Multifaceted, unique as a $2 bill, and ascending like spiritual nirvana, 21 Savage has already arrived with bad intentions and elite play. Run at him, and you will find a wall. If you're lucky enough to make the catch, know you're liable to have the fillings knocked out your mouth soon afterwards. Quarterbacks, test him and watch your own downfall soon follow. The rise has been staggering, an almost overnight ascent. Still a rookie, and yet a plausible future quickly emerges, seeing him crowned as the next king of the NFL cornerbacks. Let the reign of Boom Boom Spoon commence. Long live the king.